One of my biggest flaws of being a human being is the fact that I try to be a people pleaser and it's probably one of my worst characteristics simply because I know myself I cannot please everyone and there's no in hell no one can please everyone and but I try so hard to get accepted and it's a big thing with BPD we all want acceptance everyone knows that but I try so hard to please people and the last few days oh, let me tell you I almost quit doing social media this weekend because of the level of hate. Don't let me drown. Hello, you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lydia, and today we have lighting. As you read in the title, this video is about being a people pleaser. I, I know I can't please everyone. I don't need anyone to tell me that. I'm 21, I'm an adult, I, I know that I can't please everyone. Does that then give people the right to hate on others? No, it doesn't. Just because someone doesn't like me doesn't mean they can call me fat, call me all these horrible things. Just because I try and be positive and because I essentially put... My anxiety is so bad. I'm not filming at the moment. I, um, I... <laughs> I started doing YouTube as a outlet, as a way of dealing with my own stuff while also helping other people and it's not a stretch to say that because people have said to me messages, Lydia you've helped me and that means a lot. Like, all I do is share my life. I don't share everything. There's some things that you just don't put on YouTube. I got called out on Twitter because I don't share all the negative in my life. It's essentially like they was asking me to record being self-harming. You get so worked up on the idea of people hating on you and it really has affected me this the last few weeks like because my social media has grown unbelievably and when I say this I don't mean it's come off like I'm gloating or anything but it's grown I'm still new to the YouTube life I am not used to getting hate because I didn't used to get any I, it's only been the last couple of months that I've really got hate on videos like obviously there's a comment here or there because it grew so quickly I've never had the level of hate that I'm getting now and my way of dealing with it was making videos ranting and raving about it and I'm saying this now, I'm not going to do that anymore. I will still talk about subjects, I'm going to talk about my life, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. I need to work on not being a people pleaser and just doing what I feel is right. And that's the purpose of me making this video. I'm making this video for myself. When you get hated on and you like me and all you want to do is make people feel okay and supported when you receive hate it is the worst feeling in the world. This weekend I've had my family here and I've had to put on a smile and be happy, cheery and all good going and you know what, if I only hit a point tonight where I was like I can't sit here and do nothing about it, I don't want it to consume my life from this point onwards, any, any hate, especially on Twitter, is going to really all block my own mental well-being is more important than Twitter I'm going to continue doing what I do, I'm going to continue talking about my story I'm going to continue to share things because there are so many stories that I've got that you haven't heard yet because I couldn't or because I didn't feel comfortable or because I wasn't ready and I finally am ready to share a lot of stories especially from back when I lived in Lancashire like there's a lot of stories from back then that I couldn't talk about or that I was too afraid of talking about but now I can and the fact that I feel ready to is so amazing. Like I said, my anxiety has been really bad this weekend because I had to put on this little show with me my grandparents and being like, oh yeah, everything's fine. I don't know. Something hit me this evening and I was like, I need to make a video. It's sad. Hating on other people is sad, genuinely. Like, what would people get about it? It's so fucking mature and sad. Like, you have nothing better to do. Like, I am so relevant compared to other people. I just put my life online. What do you really gain from calling me fat? Like, tell me that, please. I do not need someone else to point out that I've put away. I know trolls only do it to get my attention, but it has an impact. Trolling is fucking wrong and fucking horrible. To you, it might seem harmless, but when you're on the receiving end of it on a mass scale, it, it is devastating. What well, make me fat? What does that? What does that do to you? Okay? What do you get out of it? Other than knowing you're gonna. Like, make me feel like shit. It has made me feel like shit. I can't pretend it hasn't. But I react how I do for here some water. You call me fat, of course I'm not gonna feel happy about that. No one feels happy about getting called fat. I don't get the mentality of it, I just don't. Maybe it's called a people pleaser. <laughs> Being the people pleaser, <laughs> I'm a people pleaser. So yeah, thank you for watching, thank you for supporting me. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Later. Peace. Well, bye.